This is First Morning Weather. Welcome back on your gloomy Wednesday afternoon. Overcast clouds and skies out there as you're heading out this afternoon across the Twin Tiers, but most of us are looking on the dry side now. There are a few isolated showers towards the northern portions of the viewing area, but otherwise it's looking like a typical fall day out there, not only with these temperatures this afternoon. Like I just mentioned, a few isolated showers, especially towards the northern portions of the viewing area. North Steuben County as well as Yates County. You're seeing a couple of sprinkles here and there and a few just across the Twin Tiers. Now this will be the theme this afternoon. Lots of cloud cover. Very limited sunshine is expected and your high temperatures into the upper 50s and low 60s. Right now though we are majority of us sitting ranging throughout the 50s. We're at 55 in Morris, 54 up towards Watkins Glen, and it's currently 57 in Tawanda. Once again, temperatures are expected into those low 60s. 62 is your five degree guarantee, which is seasonable for this time of year. We're looking at a little bit limited sunshine, lots of cloud cover, and the breezy conditions likely to continue out of the west at 10 to even 15 miles per hour at times. So a little bit cooler breeze out there as you are heading out that should die down as we head into this evening. We're looking at temperatures falling down to 40. Once again, still on that seasonable trend, partly cloudy overnight. Now tomorrow we're looking at similar conditions and temperatures right back where we are today in those lower 60s and upper 50s. But once again, very a lot, a lot of cloud cover throughout the day and very limited sunshine. Now as we approach the end of the work week and start to go into the weekend, we will start to see the onset of rain showers coming right back to the twin tier. So lots of cloud cover increasing Friday night into 8 p.m. And this is our GFS model. So we're tracking a system coming out of the Midwest into the Great Lakes and we're looking at the potential for lots of heavy rain as we approach this upcoming weekend. So we're starting off at 6 a.m. Saturday. That's when the rain starts to move in. Throughout the day, it could be heavy at times, but as all of the energy from this low pressure system shifts off to the east, all that moisture will go with it Saturday night and into Sunday morning. Throughout the day Sunday, though, we can't rule out some scattered showers throughout the day and the cloud cover sticking with us. But a lot of these showers will actually last into early next week. As for your rainfall forecast, now this will change over the next coming days. We still will get some new data in and these numbers could change and fluctuate a bit, but as of right now, your rainfall forecast with the GFS model into Saturday night, approaching that one inch mark. And as we go into Sunday, we're looking to topple over that inch mark. So we could see that potential for some localized flash flooding for some, especially in low lying areas, as well as areas that have poor drainage. Not too much to worry about today, though. We're looking at lots of clouds, limited sunshine, seasonable temperatures and breezy conditions. Your five degree guarantee is 62 today and it's going to be 62 once again tomorrow. We'll cool down through the 50s. Topping off in the mid 50s this upcoming weekend, about 10 degrees below average as showers move in. Scattering up by the end of the weekend, the onslaught weather will continue into early next week. Temperatures sitting in the mid 50s. Max.